Hey guys, it's Kiki back with another video. It has been seven weeks since my Healthy Hair Grow Challenge started and I want to thank all of you who have joined this challenge in hopes of having healthier hair and retain this weight. This video is just going to be an update on what's been going on with me and also I want to know what's been going on with you guys. Have you been keeping up with all of the rules for the challenge? Have you been washing and conditioning and deconditioning your hair weekly? Also, I'm going to share with you some products that I have been using and pretty much just show you guys so, my regimen. It's been seven weeks and I wanted to update you guys at four weeks just to do like a little mini monthly update, but I have been so busy. Like right now, it's one o'clock in the morning. I just got home from work. It's just been so hectic. So let me just go ahead and let you guys know what I've been keeping up with, what I haven't been keeping up with. You remember how I told you guys that I would not be sitting under my hooded dryer? Well, last month I had to sit under my hooded dryer one time only because I had did a braid out and it was time for me to go to work the next day. My hair was still wet because my hair is getting more thicker. It takes a longer time to dry. So I had to sit under my hooded dryer and hopefully I won't have to do that anymore. I have not blow dried my hair. I have not flat ironed my hair. It's been seven weeks. Everything else I've been keeping up with. Well, not everything else, but I have been washing my hair, conditioning, deconditioning weekly. I'll show you guys what I use. To decondition my hair, I use the Beautiful Textures Rapid Repair Deep Conditioner. I've used this three times. I did a product review. I'll link that in the description box if you guys haven't seen that. Yeah, I don't need the Manitel Detangler anymore because this definitely assists with detangling my hair. So this is all that I need. So I decondition my hair once a week. You guys know that I use the Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo. I'm only using this for the challenge because since I'm wearing my hair curly for the 20 weeks of the challenge, I figured I might as well use the curly shampoo. But my staple shampoo is the Shea Moisture Moisture Retention Shampoo. Oh my god, I love that shampoo. It feels like butter going on my hair. Better than butter going on my hair. I never knew a shampoo could make my hair feel like that. As far as the conditioners, I was using the Giovanni 50-50 Balance and Hydrating Common Conditioner, but I realized that this is not moisturizing enough for my hair as I get further along in the transition. So this has to take a back seat. I probably use this for protein treatments, which I do once so a now month. The conditioner, I am using my staple conditioner, which is the Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner. I love this stuff. This is the best conditioner I've ever used in my hair, period. So this is the conditioner that I use as my rinse out conditioner. And also I can use this as a leave-in, but you guys know that I use the Kimmy Tube leave-in. I still use that with the Kinky Curly Knot today, the jojoba oil, the castor oil, and the aloe vera juice. For co-washing, I was using the Hair One for curly hair. This it's okay. It's not moisturizing enough. Again, my hair is very thick. It eats moisture for breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and a midnight snack. And then it's like... You know, I was trying something else for cold wash. And I can use the restorative conditioner, but you guys know that I'm a product junkie. So... What I have been using is the Curls Coconut Curlata Conditioner. Love this. I tried this as a rinse out conditioner and I tried it to co-wash and it definitely helped with co-washing. It softened my hair and moisturized my hair. It smells just like coconut, a really strong coconut scent. And I know with my hair, if I can co-wash with a conditioner and my hair feels great, then I know that the conditioner is a really great conditioner. I purchased this from Sally's for like, I don't know, $7.99, $8.99, something like that. But that is what I use to co-wash my hair just because, you know, I'm just trying different things. I can use the restorative conditioner like I mentioned. For moisture, I was using the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, but because this has protein in it, it has been drying my hair out, making it brittle. So I have to put this aside for a while. I pretty much was killing this, like going in on a curl enhancing smoothie. So I had to put this to the side and I wanted to try something different. So I was in Walgreens and I seen that Cantu Shea Butter has a creamy hair lotion for natural hair. And this is it here. It's a big bottle. You get 12 fluid ounces in here. This doesn't contain any mineral oil, no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, no phthalates, no gluten, no paraffin, no propylene glycol, no 
PABA and no DEA. So I've been using this to moisturize my hair. And as far as sealing, I still use the Strengthening Elixir by Shea Moisture. You guys know to style my hair, I have been using the Shea Moisture Curling Style Milk, which I absolutely love. This is the Curling Style Milk. But I wanted to try the Cantu Shea Butter for natural hair. It's the Coconut Curling Cream. This is a new product. Again, this was $8.99 as well as the hair lotion. Both of these were $8.99. And I really love this. This gives great definition. I use both of these products to do a um, braid out. This is second day hair. So the first day I did it, I used the curling cream and I moisturized a little bit with the hair lotion. The second day I rebraided it, I just used the hair lotion. And my hair is pretty soft. This is how my hair came out. Remember this is at the end of the night here. And it's been 80 something degrees here where I live. And this is my hair. As far as my finishing products like serums and what I use on my edges or what I put in my hair, spray in my hair, whatever. I'm still using my Organic Pomegranate and Green Tea Anti-Frizz Serum and also the Organic Coconut Milk anti breakage Serum. I alternate between the two. I really don't use them too often because they do have silicones in them. You guys know that you cannot use a sulfate-free shampoo to remove silicone. So what I'll do sometimes is if I want to use my serums, I will use the Mixed Silk, Silk Elements, Natural Curls for Natural Girls, gentle cleansing shampoo. This is how the shampoo looks and this is not sulfate free but this is what I use to remove silicones from my hair and excess buildup. What I use on my edges is the passion fruit curl control paste by Curls and I've been using this. This doesn't give you an all day hold. It gives you more like a soft hold to the um, edges but it really adds moisture into there so I really like that about that. So that's what I use on my edges. I still use the Shea Moisture Hold and Shine Moisture Mist to mist my hair after I'm finished styling my hair. But I don't use it a lot. I just use it every so often just to add a little bit of hold and shine to my hair. If I know that it's going to be a hot day like today, I never showed you guys this, but I had this for quite a while. It's the Garnet Fruity Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Hairspray, and it's in the Ultra Strong Hold, which is a number four. It's not the strongest. The strongest would be a number five. This stuff is amazing. I just spray it all in my hair. It smells so good, and it really does fight against frizz and like my hair did not swell up and it's like one something in the morning I had a long day at work it's hot outside this is my go-to hairspray I don't use it a lot but this is what I use when I don't want my hair to swell up this is what I use also I wanted to try a new deep conditioner I know you guys are just want to say that I'm a product junkie but yeah aside from the beautiful textures rapid repair deep conditioner this is a new one by Cantu Shea Butter, and it is a deep treatment mask. Again, this is for natural hair. It doesn't contain any mineral oil, no sulfates, no parabens, no silicones, no phthalate, no gluten, no paraffin, no propylene glycol, and no PABA or DEA. So this is for natural hair. This is a new product at Walgreens. I haven't seen this anywhere and I have not tried this yet but I will be trying this so I have enough deep conditioner to last me hopefully until July, mid to late July. As far as my vitamins, the good and natural vitamins for hair, this is my second bottle. I have two weeks left in this and I was thinking about taking another vitamin after this but I'll talk to you guys a little bit about that once I decide on whether I want to order them or not. But, yeah, for the most part, I've been keeping up with my vitamins. As far as oiling my scalp, this is pretty much all I use in the seven weeks because this bottle was filled up to the top. Come on, Speedy, don't start tripping now. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I haven't really been keeping up with oiling my scalp. Like, I do my 
scalp massages, but sometimes I don't have time to oil my scalp, but it's okay because this was optional. You don't have to do this in order for your hair to grow because your hair is going to grow regardless. It's just about keeping your scalp clean, healthy, and maintaining your ends so that you can retain the length. So, yeah, I haven't really been keeping up with this, but I am going to continue to use this throughout just whenever I feel like applying it to my hair or whenever I have time to apply it. So that's pretty much everything, my products that I use, new products that is purchased. Um, as far as how everything's been going with the challenge, everything's been going great. Not all peaches and cream. I am still transitioning to natural hair and I do... <laughs> I do get knots. Last month was not city because I just had so many knots in my hair. But, you know, I pushed through this transition and great results is going to come at the end. My goal for the challenge was to be at bra strip length by August. Do I think that I'm going to make it? I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll see when August 19th comes. Because this is a healthy hair growth challenge, I am not going to do a lymph check because I want us to focus on the health. That's why I'm not going to be doing any lymph checks. It's just pointless because my hair shrinks so much. My hair shrinks a lot. So there's no point in pulling my hair down because if I pull it down, my hair is probably longer than that because that's just what it is. Right now, I'm just a little bit past armpit length. I just can't wait until the end of the challenge so I can do my cut. I do plan on cutting off an inch to two inches of hair off. I don't know how much yet, but we'll see when the time comes. So that's all I've got for you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know how you guys are doing in the comment section below, or you can create a video response. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.